The coldest storm in years is bringing heavy snow, damaging winds, high surf and near freezing temperatures to Southern California tonight. And for the first time in decades, a blizzard warning has been issued for our local mountains. The monster storm is creating dangerous conditions on our roads, especially in the mountain communities and snow could even fall in some unexpected areas, including the valleys and foothills. The brunt of the storm is just hours away with several inches of rain in the valleys by the weekend and several feet of snow in our local mountains. We have live team coverage. Rick Chambers is keeping an eye on the grapevine and John Finolio is watching the waves in the South Bay. But we begin with meteorologist Vera Jimenez with the latest on this powerful storm. Vera. Thank you so much, Chair. Well, as we take a live look outside right now, this is our Mount Wilson camera. And as you can see right now, the trees aren't shaking all that much, which means uh, we've seen a small break in those winds, but those winds are going to be a huge part of the weather story as we continue into the weekend. If you missed it earlier, here are some numbers to consider. We are expecting about three inches of rain along the coast and the valleys when all is said and done. At times, we could see up to three quarters of an inch of rain per hour, which means we are going to see not just some flooding and small uh, stream overflows, but also some urban flooding as well for our streets, our highways, and of course, uh, you know, al along those small streams. 7,000 feet excuse me, 4,000 feet is where we're expecting about seven feet of snow. And that will be primarily, obviously, along the foothills and the mountains. The wind gusts are going to be up isolated up to 75 miles per hour. And then, of course, we're also expecting very dangerous conditions, not just some high surf and some beach erosion, but there's also the possibility that we could see some water spouts over the Pacific Ocean. We'll have a look at the rest of the details and the seven-day forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you guys for now. Vera, thanks. The I-5 corridor through the grapevine is open at this hour, but snow and icy conditions could shut it down at a moment's notice. CHP is warning drivers be prepared, be careful, and stay off the roads if you can. KTLA's Rick Chambers joins us live from Lebec with the latest on the situation there. Rick? Yeah, Cher, time is running out to use this corridor safely. If you have a trip planned for later this week using the grapevine, you're going to want to move it up to tomorrow at the latest. The five is moving freely along the vine tonight, but drivers don't get complacent. And the wind, the gusty wind is really bad on the five, so be careful, drive safe. Sherry Ping is on her way to San Diego from Northern California, and she left a day early to beat the approaching storm. I just didn't want to get stuck in the snow. Um, I, I don't have change for the Jeep, so I just wanted to make sure I wasn't stuck. Smart move. Yeah. There were some snow flurries earlier today in Lebec and Gorman. We are mobilizing our equipment to continue keeping the freeway open. Caltrans already has crews and plows in position and are treating the road with a sand and salt mixture to cut down on any ice once the heavy snow starts to fall. We monitor with CHP the conditions to see if motorists are struggling with driving conditions. And that's when we determine whether or not to close I-5 for motorist safety. We'll start escorting first. Hopefully we can keep traffic moving, keep the road warm, keep the ice from forming. But if we can't do that, then we're going to have to shut it down for the safety of the motoring public. And if you plan on driving the grapevine over the next 48 hours, bring some extra supplies, blankets, water, and snacks, just in case you get caught in a highway shutdown. And allow yourself plenty of extra time. It's definitely slow down as you're coming up and over the grapevine. The road's going to be wet. It's going to be slick. So travel at a safe speed, travel at a safe distance from traffic in front of you so you can stop if you have to. And you may want to monitor the CHP website so you'll know when the roads start closing. In Lebec, I'm Rick Chambers. Guys, I'll throw it back to you in Hollywood. High winds are kicking up the surf along the coast. The monster waves forcing the closure of the Redondo Beach and Hermosa Beach piers. The damaging winds are also uprooting trees, causing flooding concerns and knocking out power. KTLA's John Finolio live in Redondo Beach with that part of the weather story. John. Sure, Micah, we're still dealing with dangerously high surf and strong winds here in the South Bay, along with widespread damage we've seen over the last 24 hours. 
With more severe weather on the way, the concern now, coastal flooding. Tonight, powerful waves are pummeling Southern California's shoreline. Severe high surf conditions up and down the coast. The dangerous surf forcing the closure of the Redondo and Hermosa Beach Piers Tuesday night, with waves peaking at 12 to 20 feet. By Wednesday morning, a few fearless surfers were searching for swells despite warnings from lifeguards. Right now is not a time to come down and test your strengths or your skills. Uh, the ocean and water is very strong, very powerful. In Newport Beach, the wind blew away a large berm put in place to protect the lifeguard headquarters. Last night we had a berm built to protect it from the ocean, from flooding, and uh, get to work this morning and it blew that thing flat, six foot berm. And in Hermosa Beach, the wind blew so much sand it undercut this lifeguard tower. I've been here for 25 years and I've never seen weather like this here. Dan Salamone says he and his neighbors were rattled awake by the wild wind gusts. We woke up to trees downed all around our home and cars smashed and houses smashed. Oh, wow. Yeah, Torrance, Manhattan Beach and Hermosa Beach really got hammered last night. Yeah. He's not kidding. In Manhattan Beach, this massive eucalyptus tree fell onto several cars and an apartment building on Laurel Avenue near Manhattan Beach Boulevard. Several more trees toppled in Torrance. <laughs> including outside of Providence Little Company of Mary Medical Center, partially blocking the ambulance entrance. Firefighters forced to use chainsaws to clear the debris. And while the wind has been a nuisance for many and a precursor to potentially heavy rain, some don't mind it at all. I actually appreciate it. I know where it's going to be right before we kind of have a storm. It's kind of nice to actually have the wind, you know, it kind of brings in the fresh air. And All right, the Redondo Beach Pier is back open. The Hermosa Beach Pier remains closed. The National Weather Service says that high surf warning will remain in effect until at least 3 a.m. Thursday. And then, of course, after that, the potential for heavy rain and flooding. We'll keep an eye on all of it for you. For now, reporting live in Redondo Beach, I'm John Finolio. Sending it back to you. John, thank you. Big Bear is being buried by snow tonight. Even heavier snow is expected tomorrow night. While the fresh powder is making driving in the area quite dangerous, it is good news for skiers and snowboarders. All lifts are open. The resorts say they got nine inches of new snow today with up to four feet forecast by the time the storm clears out. If you're heading up to the mountain resorts, remember chains are required. And temperatures are falling all over Southern California tonight, and that means places that don't normally see snow could get a dusting of the white stuff, and that includes the Santa Clarita Valley, where the area experienced <coughs> scattered showers today, even some hail in some places. There's also a chance of light snow around the foothills, around the valley, and possibly on the valley floor. This cold winter storm is expected to bring four to six inches of rain and even the possibility of some flooding. A live look now at LAX as this coast to coast storm has canceled or delayed more than 4,300 flights across the country. Major airlines like Delta and Southwest issued weather waivers in anticipation of more scheduling issues. According to FlightAware, at least 2,900 flights were delayed today. More than 1,400 others were canceled. Those delays and cancellations impacted a handful of Midwestern and Western airports with Minneapolis, St. Paul, Detroit and Denver seeing the biggest impact. Mostly good news out of LAX where only about 2% of departures were canceled today. Remember, you can track our local storms in real time with our interactive radar. See what's coming your way, get rain totals, the forecast, and much more. Just head to KTLA.com or download the KTLA weather app.